Hey everybody, Tyler here. Um, good evening. I know it's pretty late, it's like 9.30pm right now, but uh, I decided to go ahead and do this video because I thought it would be neat. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys basically some cool um, slip covers I got. Um, I actually missed one, so I better go get one real quick. It'll take just a second. Now, I got most of them, not all of them, because it would take forever if I would have gotten all of them. Even though, I got most of them, though. I left out some of the more bland ones. That were just kind of meh. Nah. Um, we're going to save the Blu-ray 3Ds for last. We're going to do the DVDs and Blu-rays first. They're just kind of mixed in. I do apologize. Here we go. Um, first one, this one is a little bit plain looking, but I think it's cool. This is the Scrooge slip cover. What I, why I think it's cool is, look at that. It just, um, it's just kind of like plain on the front though, but the artwork is actually on the DVD casing. I thought that's really neat. And this is a really, really funny movie. If you've ever seen this movie, Scrooge, I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. Now I'll go ahead and quickly show you the disc. Alright. On to the next one. Golden Compass. I don't know. Uh, guys, I tried putting as much lighting as I could into here. Pretty embossed here, and um, it's kind of shiny. I don't, maybe I have to get it like at the right angle, though, but it's shiny, as you can see as well. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't take forever to upload. So I need to make this kind of quick. Which really sucks, but it's better not making it. Green Zone. Um, pretty nice slipcover. Um, titles embossed right there. The rest is just kind of... Yeah, it's kind of plain. But... Eh. That's alright, I guess. Blu-ray, and you also got a digital copy disc. Pardon that noise. That's the actually um, that's the heat. My mom always puts that on at night. And guys, I did forget a few, like the Simpsons movie, and I also forgot uh, Saving Private Ryan Sapphire series. I apologize for that. Those actually were not intentional. I was not intending to forget those, but I'm gonna have to just deal with that and I'll show them another time. Pretty nice, kind of pops out of you. Shoot, I should have put this in the lenticular covers. I wasn't thinking. I apologize. This is actually, you know what? I put the lenticular this lenticular cover in the wrong order. I'm sorry about that. Nah, there's nothing I can do now. It's a disc. Yeah, I just went and showed that real quick. Very nice, kind of pops out at you. Um, moves very slightly. Yeah. Pretty neat. And guys, pardon the red cord, it's my phone I'm plugging in. It's at like 61% now, but I'm going to keep it plugged in. Fox Now, Fox Now 2, very nice slip cover, um, shiny and pretty nicely embossed actually. And the first one was a great movie, I've never seen the second one, so I don't know what to say about it. I don't know if it's any good, I can't tell you that. Um, this is a region free combo. Ray and DVD right there of the second one. They actually stacked these. I noticed I noticed the first one. I don't like stacked discs personally, but uh, what can you do? I think they're annoying, but uh, that's just my opinion. I kind of get annoyed with them. Um, what else is interesting? Race to its mountain. This is actually region four and four from Australia. Wow. Yeah, I actually do have some foreign imports as well to show. Titles and Bosts. Oh, and it's shiny, too. Like, where the Dwayne Johnson text is and the title is shiny. It's pretty nice. So, yeah. Um, open it up. Got the disc. Alright, we can move on. You got Avatar. Uh, another Australian import. Very shiny as well. Yeah. 
this one, this two, and this three. There's three discs in here. So yeah, that, that's really cool as well. Um, even though the rest of the slipcover is pretty much flat, there's nothing embossed or anything, but it's just shiny. I like it. That's good. Enough. I do plan to get the Blu-ray 3D in the future. The Incredibles. Uh, another just kind of plain looking slipcover other than shiny. That's about it. Title's not embossed or anything. Oh, whoa. Sorry about that. That's unexpected. Spine is back. THX certified. It's from Walt Disney Home Entertainment. This is a British import. Region 2. As you guys have probably already noticed. Most people have anyway. Um, we got Sleeping Beauty. The 50th Anniversary Edition Platinum Edition. You know, I only have a few Platinum Editions. I'm kind of lacking on those. I need to get more. Tiles embossed. I actually do have a few bootlegged ones. Like, I have a bootleg uh, Platinum Edition of Aladdin. I have a bootleg Platinum Edition of Peter Pan. I'm going to have to try to get the genuine ones sometime. First time on two-disc Platinum Edition DVD. Mm -hmm. Discs are holographic, so you can tell they're genuine. And the silk is very nice. In fact, it's slightly mirrored, as you can see. And everything is embossed except for them and this background here. Everything else is embossed. Hobbit, an unexpected journey. Um, again, another one of those flat slip covers, just shiny, that's about it. Yeah. This one and this two. This two has special features. Alrighty, we got Spider-Man 3. Um, this is the two-disc special edition. Um, has a pretty nice slip cover. Titles embossed. Same with Spider-Man here. Two-disc DVD with over six hours of special features. Dang, that's pretty awesome. This one and this two. Oh, whoa, whoa. Sorry, there was like a little bump on my carpet and... Um, look, the, the case kind of got in it a little bit, if you guys know what I mean. Got a blue right here, the Lion King, this is actually a UK import as you can see. This is a, uh, this copy, this is a British import. So, yeah, um, not as cool as the American slip cover, because the title's actually not embossed here, but the character's outlinings are embossed. I think it's, yeah, it's fair enough. And the diamond right here is embossed. I guess that's all right. You know, that's, that's not too bad. All right. This one. And this two. All right. All right. Uh, we have two more shell, I mean, two more stacks and one more uh, by itself. Finding Nemo. Plain slipcover, but very, very shiny. I really do like the slipcover. It's very pretty. It's actually a Canadian copy, as you can see. It's a Canadian copy. Alright. It has a lot of pro material, which I'm not going to show. It came with a ton. Um, white screen and the full screen discs. Hearts could be on Stranger Tides. Um... Titles embossed right here. Outlinings are embossed. That's about it. Still has the Disney DVD logo, even though it's actually considered a Blu-ray. Because it has the Blu-ray and DVD of it in there. Huh, that's kind of weird. Alright. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, very shiny. Um, titles embossed here. Only this part is embossed. The rest of the slipcover is not. Two disc limited edition. Oh yeah, that's embossed too. That's that's it pretty much. Uh, pretty good slipcover. I like the slipcover. This one, this two. We got. Deja Vu, 
Another very nice looking slipcover. Oh my gosh, titles embossed and look at the shininess of this thing. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I take off I usually take off snap cases on my DVDs because they irritate me. Personally. We got the Diamond Edition of Beauty and the Beast. Very glittery. Oh, excuse me. Very glittery. Um, everything's embossed. Even the diamonds embossed. Very beautiful, 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 beautiful slipcover. Look at this. Disney did a great job here. Look at that. It's just shiny everywhere. Very good job on this. DVD actually got lost somewhere. I don't know where the DVD went. It just got. It just pretty much disappeared. I haven't seen it for a couple years. I don't even know where it went. Ah uh, well. At least I got the Blu-ray of the film. Knowing, titles embossed. Same with the outlinings a little bit, and this part right here. It's shiny as well. That's that's not bad. Yeah. Okay, we got Blu-ray, which is just kind of a plain dark blue disc. That's it. No real artwork here. Okay. We got The Kill a Mockingbird. This is the 50th anniversary edition. Titles embossed here. This is the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy version of the film. And disc. And we got for the Blu-ray, and then we got the DVD right there. This movie actually was pretty good. I've seen it over in school before. It was pretty good. The Braveheart Sapphire series. I also have the same Private Ryan Sapphire series, but that one actually I forgot to get over here. I apologize. Titled embossed. It's pretty much the same looking slipcover though. Well, very similar. That's embossed too. The character's not. You back here. Alright. Boring gray discs for Blu-rays. I never understood why they did that. That's just beyond boring. I prefer it blue because blue is actually my favorite color, but Man, why did they do that? That's just kind of stupid to be honest. <sighs> yeah, that kind of irritates me that they did that, but whatever, I guess. Sorcerer's Apprentice. And we got a very nice looking slipcover here. As you can see, it's kind of like, I don't know, but it's like shiny silver. I don't know what that is. It's just nice though. Outlinings and titles embossed. Definitely a beautiful looking slipcover though. Definitely one of the best looking slipcovers I've seen here. Blu-ray and a DVD. I really love the slipcover to this one. The slipcover is really awesome. Alright, we got <clears throat> how many more of the regulars? Six. We got three DVDs and three Blu-rays ahead of us. We're doing the three Blu-rays first accidentally, but it's okay. Life of Pi, mirrored as you can see. Very nice slipcover. Um, that's about it though. There's not a lot to it. It's just flat. Oh, shiny on the back. That's kind of nice, actually. <clears> That's <throat> pretty cool. <clears throat> Sorry, a little bit of a frog in my throat. Uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. These are DVD and digital copy are both on the same disc, while the Blu-ray is on a separate disc. Oh, if you guys want to see my bootlegs of Aladdin and Peter Pan, I'll show them to you. This is the Aladdin one. Yeah, it looks pretty fake. <laughs> Especially look at this. Oh, yeah, this looks totally fake. This, Yeah, you could just tell. And the discs are supposed to be holographic. They're not. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning to get the real copy in the future. <clears throat> I'm stuck with this one for now, though, because I ordered online. I don't know how else to get it, really. And same here with this. Got a non-genuine copy of this too. 
Even though it plays like the regular DVD, though it plays no different. It plays exactly the same as the is. It plays exactly the same as it should, but it just looks weird. Uh, I guess that's a downside of ordering online. You don't know which copy you're getting. If you're getting a bootleg, a pirated version, or or a real genuine copy, you know it's very very difficult to tell. Basically. Let me put those away, and we got Super 8. This was actually a pretty damn good movie. I thought it was not too bad. Um, pretty cool movie, and we got... It's like a meta finish here, and... It looks like this was at Best Buy for 30 bucks. Thank God I didn't pay that. I paid, like, I paid $5. <laughs> wow, it was totally on sale, so yeah, I snatched it right up. So yeah, good movie. Blu-ray, blue disc, and got the DVD, which is the gray disc. Eh, how to get your digital copy of Super 8? Eh, not really that interesting. I'm not, I'm not a fan of digital copies at all. I don't care for them, but that's just my opinion. Um, uh, Tron the Original Classic, pretty cool slip cover, um, uh, embossed, and... Kind of like shiny silver again. Look at that, it's... It's pretty cool looking. Shiny on the back. Kind of. This actually does kind of remind me um, of two of the subcovers I showed previously. Um, they were Sorcerer's Apprentice and um, Life of Pi. Those are the two that reminded me of the most. All right. Bedtime Stories. This is actually also a Region 4 import from Australia. You can see, um, very nice embossed. All the uh, Some of the balloons are embossed, actually. Some of them are not. Oh, wow. I kind of wish they embossed all of them, though, but it looks like they only embossed a few. Ah, why, why Disney? Ah, well. Title embossed, and Adam Sandler's name right there is embossed. Oh, it looks like the characters are embossed, too. Okay, that's that's a little bit better. You know, <coughs> that DVD, boring gray disc. Two more. Ghost Rider, even though this movie was a piece of crap, but, uh, cool slipcover at least. And plus, it was so cheap, I was just like, okay, five bucks. I think it was on price, it was, I think it was on sale though, so it may have even been cheaper than that. So I was just like, all right, all right, whatever. It was the extended cut, and we got this two. I guess this, wait, how long is this movie? Is it really that long? 123 minutes, so I'm guessing that must be like the bonus features or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it'd be part two to the film. I don't, I don't know. Huh. Interesting, I guess, to say the least. All right, um, lastly, we got... I know there's also a Blu-ray that has a particular cover of this. I definitely want to get that in the future. This film is funny. Very, very funny. If you haven't seen this movie, I definitely highly recommend it. Elf of Will Ferrell. Oh, yes. Very nice up cover. Look at that. It's very glittery. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Very, very beautiful. Pretty embossed, too. It's nice. Very, very nice. I saw this I saw this movie a couple times and it's absolutely hysterical. I've laughed so many times in this movie. Definitely worth picking it up if you haven't seen this movie. Now to the 3D Blu-rays. Very lastly. Some are um most of them are lenticular. Uh some aren't, but uh, let's see here. We got Thor Dark World. We got a pretty nice looking slipcover, pretty Rare for a Blu-ray 3D. It's actually kind of shiny and embossed, too. Wow. And his thunder is, like, kind of shiny, too. Right there. Eh, this film was okay. It was not that bad. But, you know, I picked it up because it was... Eh, I guess it was a pretty good deal. I don't remember the price exactly, though, but I think I got a pretty good deal on this, probably. 
I don't know. It's been a few years. I've actually had this Blu-ray for quite a few years. For probably a few years. Alright. This next film. Oh my gosh. This film was awful. Please do not watch this movie. I only picked it up because it was... Uh, because... Um, the Blu-ray 3D is kind of hard to find nowadays. So... I was like, ugh, okay. And I did pay a bit more than I should have. I paid 18 bucks for this. Oh, I regret that still to this day, but... I only did it because um, the still cover was kind of interesting for a Blu-ray 3D. And uh, another reason why is because it was just... I just, you know, I just kind of just felt like getting it. Because I just thought it'd be neat to show you guys. And neat to have in my own home, even though the film isn't pile of trash Mars Needs Moms Blu-ray 3D uh, pretty nice embossed slip cover there doors embossed too this is the Blu-ray 3D for this combo pack Blu-ray 3D Regular Blu-ray, digital copy, and the DVD. Oh, off topic, but 21 days until Christmas. That's really exciting. Um, let's see here. Beauty and the Beast, very nice. Uh, this is a UK import as well. Very nice slip cover, as you can see. Even though it's flat, but it's shiny. So I think that's interesting for a Blu-ray 3D, so, you know. I have to give it credit for that. I do plan to get the American Blu-ray 3D because the slipcover is actually a bit better. It's actually lenticular and the title's embossed. I love those type of slipcovers. They're so pretty. Alright, um, it's the Blu-ray 3D and regular Blu-ray. They both have identical artwork, huh? I wonder why. Why didn't they come up with different artwork? Huh, I don't know why they would... I don't know, it's just very bizarre to me. Why didn't they make this the Blu-ray 3D artwork on the disc? The, the front here. Like they did with the American Blu-ray. Ugh, who knows. Disney probably was just lazy and they didn't do it. No, well, whatever. Alright, um... Let's see. We got Finding Nemo. This is the Blu-ray 3D combo pack. Very nice, as you can see. Uh, title embossed here. It moves just very slightly. This is a five disc combo pack. I got a pretty good deal on this. I think I got it for like less than 20 bucks. And this is a great movie. A pretty, it's a pretty good movie actually. Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray. Oh man, sorry about that. Second Blu-ray, this is the bonus Blu-ray and DVD. Has artwork, no way, oh my gosh. Finally, in the digital copy. See, Disney, was it really that hard to do that? Was it really that hard? Jeez. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. We got Star Trek Into Darkness in 3D. We got another nice slip cover. Title embossed here. Hardly moves, though. Slip cover moves very, very, very uh, small amount. Titles in Boss, though, which I have to give it credit for. I think that's really neat. Alright. We got the Blu ray, 3D, regular Blu ray, DVD. The film was pretty dang good. In fact, it was so good, I actually saw it twice in the movie theaters back when it came out. Lion King in 3D. Another very, very epic slip cover here. Look at that. Ah, sorry. Move slightly. Titles embossed.
they did artwork on this one. Hey, just like to find an emo one. That's awesome. Thank God they did that on these releases, at least. Digital copy. Even though most releases, they just skip out on it. Next, and the next one's actually a regular Blu-ray. We also got a DVD one coming up. Get smart. This is just a regular Blu-ray, even though it has a 3D one to go recover. This film didn't really look all that good, but I picked it up because it was cheap. I don't remember how much it was, though. This is this was not true. That This was probably from the original place it was from, Kmart, twenty nine ninety nine. I did not pay no $30 for this, though. I paid, like, probably about 5 to 10 bucks, I if I remember correctly. Yeah. Blu-ray. DVD, a digital copy in the DVD game. It looks like we're about to exceed a half an hour. Alright. Man in Black 3 moves very slightly. This was actually the fun fact. This was the first Blu-ray 3D I ever picked up, actually. Pretty cool. Move slightly as well. I think most of them probably move slightly, if not all. I saw this in the movie theaters, and it's an okay film. Blu ray DVD, Blu ray 3D, and the bonus disc. I like that Sony does clear cases. I think that's kind of nice. That's kind of a change in the regular average blue case. This is the DVD one, Plancher's Automobiles. It's a pretty rare slipcover version to find. As you can see, it's... Um, this, oh, the title moves. Oh my goodness, you see that? That's kind of nice, actually. It looks pretty cool. Um, whoa. Trees really pop out at you if you look closely. Oh, so it's the baggage that. Oh my god, it really pops out at you if you look closely. Wow, this little cover really does pop out. Wow, it's just awesome, man. I really love this little cover to this one. I'm very glad I picked this up. I got a great deal on it. I paid like seven bucks for it. That was about it. Definitely worth it. This film is absolutely hysterical. Every time. Every time I watch this movie, I laugh so much. We got five more. The Amazing Spider-Man. This is actually a French-Canadian Blu-ray 3D. As you can see, this is actually uh, a Canadian copy. Very similar to the USA copy, though. <clears throat> as you can see, uh, the cover moves as well, kind of, kind of slightly. Oh wow, the background kind of pops out at you in this one too. I guess I guess most of them probably the background probably does pop out in most of them if you notice them. Like if you look really closely. Just they do have pretty cool slip covers. Uh, some of the titles are embossed, some aren't. Okay, we got uh, this is the DVD in here. Blu-ray 3D. And the two Blu-ray discs. Special features here. Regular Blu-rays there. Oh. I might have to move this, actually. There we go. So it's not in the way of me closing the case. <clears throat> we got four more. We're almost finished. I know this has been a half an hour, but eh. That's okay. Pirates of the Caribbean and Stranger Tides. Very nice. Title embossed here. And it looks pretty, very pretty. Pretty much everything pops out. I mean, pretty much everything moves. <clears throat> Got it for only 10 bucks, as you can see there. That was actually the price I paid for it. Titles embossed, except for that. That thing actually moves. That, um... Skull, that skeleton head. <clears throat> Blu 
way through D is actually the third disc in here, which is kind of weird. DVD digital copy. Oh, no, not digital copy. This is a bonus disc. Excuse me. Sorry. I was a little bit off there, but eh. That happens sometimes, I guess. Okay, we got two more Blu-ray 3Ds, one more regular Blu-ray. We got iRobot in 3D. I actually got this one just yesterday. Next, who I got just yesterday, while well, the last one I got the day before yesterday. Very nice look cover. Pops out at you a lot. Uh, everything moves. Pretty cool background, too. I like the background. Paid only like 12, 13 bucks for this one, so yeah, it's not a bad deal. So, couldn't really beat it. Then there's the Blu-ray 3D plus the regular Blu-ray itself, and we got the DVD, watch screen DVD, that they included in there. Probably not a reprint, I'm assuming. I think it's probably the original uh, DVD they just put in there. The DVD. And what's cool is even the Blu-ray 3D logo right here actually slightly moves, as you notice. Wow, like everything moves. It's very neat. Everything moves on the subcover, except for this text, but eh. Almost everything does. It doesn't even matter, to be honest. I think most of it's embossed. I think it's cool. Alright, we got two more. Preble Hulk. This is the limited edition 3D packaging. I got a good deal on this, so I was like, oh my gosh, yes. And look, it has a green Blu-ray case. Have you ever seen that? Wow. Very nice. I love this release. This is a very cool release to own in the collection. Definitely an addition. Got this just yesterday. It's really nice. Really, really nice. Blu-ray. You got the bonus disc there. Oh, digital copy disc. Ugh. I keep getting the two mixed up now. <laughs> um, okay, we got one more. And the final one is a crappy film, but I got it because I thought it would be cool. Yes, I know. Don't make fun of me for having some of the crappy films I do. <laughs> Excuse me. We got Transformers Dark of the Moon. You can see it does move some. Yeah, this is in Blu-ray 3D as well. Very cool. Titles embossed there. Just the Transformers text. Not, not the Dark of the Moon text. Just Transformers. It's embossed there. Got a pretty cool slipcover. Limited 3D edition. His spine is back. Okay, we got... Blu-ray, <clears throat> which is it's typical clear blue self. Blu-ray feature film, Blu-ray special features, DVD. <clears throat> Transformers: The Ride 3D. I actually rode that ride over in uh, Orlando, Florida, when I visited. I actually went to Universal Studios, Orlando, or whatever they call it. Universal Studios Florida, I think is what you call it. Yep, I actually went there last month. It was really cool. I, I went there November 9th through November 16th. You know. Pretty cool Blu-ray 3D case. I really like that. So yeah, guys. Uh, there you have it. I know it's gone on a bit longer than expected, but eh. It's cool, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Probably take forever to upload, but I'm going to try to stay up for all that mess. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.